We have a new film coming out uh, next month. It's called Racing Extinction, and it's a, it's another eco thriller. You know, so we're using kind of the same template, but it's like the stakes are much you know much more raised. Um, you know, with the cove, we're concentrating on this one little body of water to try to tell a much bigger story about what's going on with cetaceans, what's going on with ocean health, and then this is where we're attacking the biggest problem in the world, I would say, bar none, uh, which is mass extinction of species caused by humanity. And uh, you know, my my own background was I you know I worked for you know about 20 years as a National Geographic still photographer, and I did four stories during that period of time on the Mesozoic, that's the midlife of the planet, the age of dinosaurs. So a lot of my friends are dinosaur hunters. <laughs> or I, did, I wrote a book called Honey Dinosaurs. And uh, when I was at Sundance with the first film, I took two books with me. One was by a friend of mine, Michael Novacek, the head provost of the American Museum of Natural History. And I'd been digging dinosaurs with Michael in the Gobi like a couple years before. So I said, well, see, see what Michael's up to. And in this book, he's talking about how we're losing species right now faster than mankind's ability to even record that they're here on the planet with us. And I thought, that's depressing. So I picked up the other book I brought with me, by a book by Charles Verone, uh, former chief marine scientist for Australia. It was called uh, A Reef in Time. It was about the Great Barrier Reef. And he's talking about how we're losing the, the reefs right now all around the world, including the Great Barrier Reef, because of acidification. And that's always happening for, right before a mass extinction event because of all the increase in carbon dioxide. And it was then I thought, well, this is the biggest, you know, how did I, first of all, how did I know about this, that there's a mass extinction event going on right now? Because when you're digging up dinosaurs, you're always looking around and saying, what happened? What, how, did this, how did this happen? How did these animals thrive? Dinosaurs were the most uh, thriving animal on the planet for 165 million years, way longer than human beings. We're only, a, you know, a few tens, it depends on when, how we consider man in our lineage, but, you know, even Australopithecus, three and a half million years ago, that's like, that's nothing. Those are, we're the new kids on the block. And so you think, well, how, how did I know about this? And it's like the, the mass, we're in the middle of a mass extinction event. There's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. We're going through one right now. I wrote a book on the subject, I didn't know about it. And so I asked Michael, I said, Michael Novacek from the American Museum of Natural History, I said, you guys are in the, in the extinction business. And he says, well, it's too hard, it's too depressing of a, an issue to get out. And I thought, well, I, I need to do a movie about it. And we started right then working on it. So I've been working on the story really since like Sundance of 2009.